Hey everyone, it's been a little over a week since I've unboxed the Secret Lab Titan and given you my initial thoughts on it. And today I'm back with the full review. Now the Titan costs 400 bucks and the one I got is the stealth edition of this chair. Uh, you can also get the Titan in a few other color schemes and I've linked to the Titan's product listing on secretlab.co below so you can check those other color schemes out. Again, Secret Lab did send me this chair to review and if you do click on the link below and end up purchasing a chair, I will get an affiliate commission. Of course, you could always just go to secretlab.co too and buy the chair without going through my link, but any commission I get does help me out and it does allow me to continue holding giveaways. So if you do end up purchasing this chair through our affiliate link, I really appreciate your support and if not, no big deal as well. But I do want to dive a bit deeper into the Titan and try and shed some light on the kind of experience I have gotten out of it this far, and hopefully that will help you determine whether or not this chair is right for you. Now in the week plus that I've been sitting in the Titan, one of the things that I have noticed is that whenever I first sit in it at the beginning of the day, I just kind of get that feeling that I am sitting in something that is really quality made. Part of that could be because it's still new to me and it's exciting to have this big new awesome racing style chair to sit in. Uh, two to three months down the road, who knows, that feeling will likely fade a bit as the excitement of having a new chair dies down a bit. But the initial feeling of sitting down in this chair is a good one. As for comfort, for me, I really enjoy sitting in the Titan. And as I work from home uh, at my computer all day long, I have been sitting in the Titan for at least seven to eight hours per day since I have gotten it. Now here's the thing though, with any type of chair review, when it comes to comfort, it's really going to be hard for an individual reviewer to convey how the chair will feel for you. Right, we, have all, uh, we all have different preferences and ideas on what makes a comfortable chair comfortable, and different body types and body sizes are going to feel differently uh, depending on the chair you're sitting in. The other thing that is really important to consider is what chair the reviewer was sitting in prior to reviewing the new chair, right? Because if I came from sitting in a $1,000 Herman Miller office chair, for an extensive period of time uh, into sitting into this Secret Lab Titan and they said, yeah, the chair is pretty comfortable, but it's not the most comfortable chair out there. Uh, without any context or addition of the fact that I had been previously sitting in one of the most expensive ergonomic uh, chairs on the market, my assessment wouldn't really help you in that case, especially if you were someone coming from a cheap and inexpensive chair. Because for you, sure, it might not be as comfortable uh, as a $1,000 chair, but what you wanna know is how comfortable it is for a $400 chair. And on the flip side of that, if I've come from sitting in a cold, hard metal fold-up chair, and I say to you, man, this chair is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in, uh, the context there again is lost, because if you don't know that I've been sitting on a piece of metal for three years, then you won't understand that part of my excitement over that this new chair could mostly be because I've been sitting in something wretched beforehand. Uh, so before I give you my thoughts and feelings on the comfortability of this chair, uh, it's important to note that I have been sitting in a space seating professional air grid office chair. The space seating professional is about a $150 chair, uh, and it actually does come pretty well regarded in terms of what you get for a fairly affordable price. And from my experience, it was a really solid chair for what I paid for it. Uh, but with that being said, through the first 10 days of sitting in the Titan, the Titan is not only more comfortable in my opinion, uh, but, it, but its other features and adjustment options make it a much superior sitting experience. And that of course is to be expected because the Titan is a $400 chair and the Space Seating Professional is again about 150 bucks. But I figured it was important to let you know what chair I was sitting in before, uh, just so you know that this chair is an upgrade for me. Uh, the Titan does have a sort of firmness to it, but for me it's not an uncomfortable firmness, but rather one that feels very supportive. But overall on the comfort, I couldn't be happier with it as of right now. The Titan does also offer adjustable lumbar support through a resistance knob on the side of the chair. Uh, I have been switching off from using the lumbar, lumbar support at full resistance, and then every once in a while I'll drop it back down to zero resistance. And that's because the chair I had before did not have a lumbar support adjustment feature. And so even though it is pretty comfortable utilizing the Titan's lumbar support at full resistance, uh, my body is not used to sitting like that and I have gotten a little stiff after using it for extended periods, so then I drop it back down uh, so that the lumbar support is not extending out all the way. Uh, but ultimately, I have been using the lumbar support at full resistance for the majority of the time that I have been sitting in the Titan. And aside from a few instances where I have gotten a bit stiff while using it, it's been great at helping me sit in a better position for longer periods. Now for some of this chair's features, I did go over them briefly in my initial look uh, video on this chair, but I did gloss over them a bit 
and now I want to go over everything a little bit more in depth. Uh, first off, let's go over all of the different ways that you can adjust this chair. Obviously, you can adjust the chair up and down with the right hand lever beneath the seat. That's pretty standard for any computer seat. Uh, now the lever on the left hand activates the locking and unlocking mechanism that allows the chair to tilt at its base or keeps it locked in place. Now I really like this feature because when it is unlocked, I can rock back and forth in the chair and I can also lock it either at a zero angle or at a tilted angle if I want. So if I just wanna kick back and relax and watch a YouTube video or watch some Twitch streams, I can lock the chair's base into a tilted position and make it a more comfortable experience. Uh, with that being said though, from an ergonomics perspective, if you are going to sit for long periods of time at an angle, you might wanna get some kind of footstool to prop your feet up as that will promote a better sitting posture. Along with being able to tilt the chair at its base, you can also recline the Titan back by using the lever on the right hand side of the seat. And combined with the seat base being fully tilted back and the back reclined all the way, you can almost get in a fully horizontal position. And for the most part, it is pretty darn comfortable to lay back in this position. Again though, if you are going to lay back in this chair for extended periods, from an ergonomic standpoint, you're going to need some way to prop your legs up. Also, I said it in the initial look video, but I will probably not be lying back in this chair in the fully reclined and tilted position very often, but I have been using the chair at a slight recline and tilt on occasion, uh, just to switch it up from sitting at a fully upright position. So if there, there's some type of mundane task that I have to do that doesn't require a lot of thinking, but mostly mindless clicking, or if I'm playing a more content-oriented type of game, sitting at a slight recline makes the experience a bit more enjoyable as I'm able to get more comfortable. The armrests on the Titan can be adjusted in quite a few different ways. In the first look video I did, I covered all of those ways except for one. But again, let me just go over those adjustment options really quick. First, the armrests can be adjusted up and down. Secondly, they can be adjusted forward and backwards. They can also be adjusted side to side. And finally, they can be adjusted to sit at an inward angle and an outward angle, as well as straight on. For me, since my keyboard tray sits pretty low, not only do I have the chair height at its lowest point, but also the armrests at their lowest point as well. I also have them at their narrowest width and adjusted as far back as they can go. And I really haven't played with the angle adjustment and I'm not quite sure what type of users would benefit from using them, but that option is there nonetheless. The Titan does also come with a velour pillow to give you some neck support. Now I've never used a pillow for my neck or head on any of the other chairs I've ever owned. Uh, and I honestly didn't think I was going to use this pillow, but I found that in the recline position, the addition of the pillow makes it much more comfortable. Now the pillow is incredibly soft and it has a strap around it on the back that can slide around the top part of the chair. And so it can be adjusted depending on where your neck lines up with the chair. I do keep the pillow on at all times. Uh, in the upright position, it doesn't come into contact with my head as I do tend to sit a bit more forward in the Titan. But in the recline position, I do lay back onto the pillow uh, and it is a really nice addition to have. Now there really isn't a whole lot that I don't like about this chair uh, and some of the minor issues that I have run into are not really the chair's fault, but rather things that are based on my personal preference. Uh, so the first thing that causes me a bit of a problem is that I like to sit rather wide and really without trying to be vulgar, what I mean by that is I like to sit with my legs spread apart. However, because this is a bucket style seat, the elevated edges make it kind of uncomfortable to sit like that for long periods of time because my lower hamstrings do end up resting on the edge when they're in that position. Uh, now I know from an ideal ergonomic standpoint, it is better to sit with your legs closer together. And so this is really not the fault of the Titan itself, but rather with the way I've become accustomed to sitting. I do find that I keep reverting back to sitting with my legs further apart, uh, but after a while I have to move my legs back inward. So maybe the result will be that I am eventually able to adjust and start sitting with my legs closer together. Uh, but just note that if you do like to sit wide, this chair and really all other racing style bucket seat chairs are going to be uncomfortable to sit in with your legs spread further apart, at least over long periods of time. The other thing that I'd really like to see Secret Lab do is to offer an all black color scheme. Now I don't hate the color scheme of the Titan uh, Stealth, but if I were to design the perfect color scheme for me, it would just be all black. No red stitching, the logo would be all black, or at least a shade lighter to, uh, so that it does stand out. Now this is just personal preference, and I realize that the majority of these racing style chairs are pretty radical in their design choices and color schemes, and that's just playing to their market. Right, as gamers we love RGB lights and bold colors and whatnot, 
And in fact, I'm probably the exception to that demographic. Uh, I want an all black chair, whereas most of the people who are getting these chairs uh, like that they stand out, especially for those streamers and video content creators who wanna add that element that a bright gaming chair offers uh, their channels or streams. But uh, in a perfect world, I'd love to see an all black version of the Titan, just totally blacked out. Uh, that would be my ideal color scheme. Again, that's just kind of a personal preference thing. And for the most part, I love the way the Titan looks. And either way, it is 100 times cooler looking than the standard office chair I've been sitting in. So aesthetically, this chair is a significant upgrade for me. Overall, my experience so far of sitting in the Titan is incredibly positive. It's still a bit early to 100% conclude that this is an amazing chair because I don't know how this thing is going to withstand months or even years of usage. So I do think I will come back with a follow-up review in a couple of months time just to see how the Titan is holding up. But after sitting in it for over a week, my initial view is that this is a really solid chair. Not every chair is going to offer the same experience for every individual, but if I had to recommend a gaming chair for anyone, and if you like the color schemes available for the Titan, and you have around $350 to $400 to spend, I would say definitely consider this chair. I love it so far and I'm guessing that most of you will as well. Again, there is an affiliate link to the chair in the description below if you are interested in purchasing this chair and you don't mind helping out the channel. But in any case, that wraps up this review. Thank you again to Secret Lab for sending me the chair and more important, thank you to everyone else who watched.